Well, Sean, I guess in the end, a frustrating result. Just give you your thoughts after that, after that game. Absolutely, that frustration. You know, it was a um, we had a game plan going into the game. <laughs> Changes after five minutes with Adam McGurk's injury. It was a um, a poor goal that we've conceded. But we're up against, in my opinion, one of the well, probably the best set of players at League Two. You know, and I feel that Portsmouth shouldn't have been in this level. You know, last year they should have got promoted. They haven't. They're the favourites to go up in my eyes once again. And we've stopped so much of their play this afternoon. And if it's fine lines we're talking about, then I'm disappointed that we've not had too many efforts on goal. We've not had that, you know, creativity in the in the final third. But we're playing against Portsmouth. And they're good players. And they've got a good manager at the helm. And we've really competed once again. You know, leading into the game we were third in the in the um, form guide. So you know, we was a team that was high on confidence, and I thought the second half performance in particular proved what type of team we could be, albeit by that little final hurdle that we can perhaps go over today. Yeah, like you mentioned, like I mentioned there, no question about the endeavour, particularly box to box. You actually look like a better team box to box, and it was just a case of testing the goalkeeper a little bit more than you, did, than you did perhaps did in the 90s. Yeah, of course, yeah, but you know, I always say, guys, you know, this is a this is a, a game that's played with two teams, not just one. You know, there's a as much work and you know, kind of endeavour goes into the week from not just me and my staff, but Paul Cooks and his. You know, they want to win as you know as much as we do, and it happened to be today that it was a fine, fine line game, and it was a tight game, but it was a tight game against, for me, one of the standout teams in our division. So I take a lot of positives from that. Take a lot of positives from that this afternoon. Disappointed that, like I said, I'm echoing myself here. Disappointed that we've not, um, you know, we've not, we've not got them final balls into the box and we've not got them heads and shots and you know, listen. But we'll crack on. Next week we've got Dover and we want to get through to round two. So we'll look forward. Yeah, you're talking about those final balls and there's not much you can really do when you've got a defence who defended as resolutely as they did in, in, in terms of Paul Smith and the way they defended the second half. I thought their back four was, um, you know, really strong. I thought the two centre halves in particular handled um, the threat of Uche, even though I thought Uche had a really promising, you know, a positive performance. But in terms of looking at just a little bit of flair from other directions, we didn't perhaps have that today, and that disappoints me a little bit. In terms of the, so the first half, there was a, an opportunity when Uche Peter goes down in the penalty. Did you have any, any opinion on that? I had a clear view. Yeah, I thought it was a foul. I thought it was a foul, I thought if that would have been anywhere else on the pitch, it would have been given as a foul. So it happened to be in the in the penalty box and it tells you a story. I thought it was I thought it was a penalty. And I guess it's just one of those things on another day you get that penalty and the timing of that it completely flips the game back round again. Of course it does, yeah. You know, it's fine lines. The game's all about fine lines. I tell it every day to whoever wants to come and listen to me. It's um, it can be a frustrating game at times. You know, that was a it was a frustrating afternoon, but listen, I'm not angry. I'm proud of the team. I thought the effort and the endeavour that my team produced this, this afternoon in between both box was give us the advantage. But we know it's how you defend the 18-yard line and it's, it's how you, you, you can put your front foot in the opposition's 18-yard line. And Today, we didn't do the defensive aspect right and we didn't do the attacking aspect right. So we lose the game. But like I've said, leading into the game, we were third in the form guide. So it's... Um, it's onwards and upwards, so we look forward. And I guess the manner in which you bounced back last week so positively, Exeter is something you can take confidence from going forward into into this next week. Oh, we look, we'll, listen, we, we always, always learn from a game that we've played. And we'll learn from today and we'll take it into next week's game and we'll take it into the, the, the week after. And we'll want to go through into round two and we'll want to be, you know, we'll want to win the next league game. So that's how we do our jobs. And, um, you know, today we've not won. It's as simple as that.